Border rules should be adjusted with travelers from high-risk countries tested twice, says Professor Chen Shouxi of National Taiwan University's College of Public Health. He recommends a nuanced border control system with different measures for incomers from high- and low-risk regions, meaning some travelers will undergo shorter quarantines but take more tests. He has also weighed in on the vaccine debate, saying that Taiwan should focus its efforts on winning the right to produce vaccines domestically. NTU College of Public Health has predicted the global COVID-19 infection total will come to more than 20 million and is warning that Taiwan must maintain correct border policies. Chen says changes should be made to quarantine rules. If we really want to test high-risk groups, the best method is to test twice, with a quarantine period of five days. That means testing once on entry, quarantine for five days, then testing again. That will result in virtually nobody getting through the cracks. The college recommends that travelers from high-risk countries should provide negative results from antibody tests to gain entry, as well as following the regime Chen just outlined. For medium-risk countries, a negative antibody test, five days quarantine, and then a second test is enough. For low-risk countries, they suggest continuing the 14-day quarantine system. A KMT poll found 82 percent of the public support universal screenings at the border, but Chen disagrees. We don't want to do a universal screening on everyone in the country. But for people entering the country, in terms of countries where there are lots of infections, could it be that we should implement a kind of targeted testing based on the risk levels of different countries? U.S. Health Minister Alex Azar has just signed an MOU on health cooperation with Taiwan. He disappointed officials by saying U.S. vaccines would be distributed fairly rather than promising to prioritize Taiwan, prompting former head of the Centers for Disease Control, Su Yiren, to declare his visit pointless. But Chen says Taiwan should focus on fresh goals. In these situations where there's a kind of time pressure, of course the leaders of every country are going to be much more careful. We have to try to get Taiwan to be the Southeast Asia region producer of the vaccines that have already been developed. That's the most important thing. Teams across the world are racing to get a vaccine ready, and Chen says that securing the chance to produce those vaccines in Taiwan should be officials' top goal.